Hey guys, it's me, vixen 3 Welcome back to How to Minecraft. We are here for another shorter episode as I get ready to go away to LA. Wait, where's that zombie? Did you guys hear that? Before I go away, he's on the other side of this wall. Because there was a zombie in here. After I finished my episode, I think it was the day before yesterday, I came in here and there was just a zombie just stood here, just like, Whoa. and I was like, how do you even get in? That was not cool. Um, where is the zombie? Now, how has he gotten here? This is all pretty lit up. I'm honestly just going to seal it there just to be on the safe side and KO him. Now, let's uh, let's go back. Pretend nothing ever happened here. So, yeah, somehow a zombie got in here. But like I say, this is the penultimate live stream. The last but one. Because, as I've said a few times before, going out to LA for E3. Got about another 13 to 15 videos still to make. Which should be doable in the next two days. But uh, what we're doing today in How to Minecraft is we're going to be beginning work on the casino. I'm going to be building another one this season. Last season, I uh, custom built an entire Wheel of Fortune using Redstone. And I want to re-bring that back into this game. It'll be really interesting to see using the money note system for gambling in Minecraft. Um, even though gambling's bad, you shouldn't do it. But when it's in a game, it's all good. Um, for the most part, I guess. All you lose is time, but then time is money, but I don't even know. So what loads of people have said, that that is just horrible. Who, whoever messed up the clay there, I don't I don't like. That looks horrible. Um, so I'm thinking there's a nice flat space right there, and loads of people saying build it under the water. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and dip down to there, and I'm going to create kind of a skylight type thing. Then the majority of the casino is going to be underground. So me and Matt built our casino in the previous season of How to Minecraft in the sky. And that was a huge mistake because it meant that it took ages to build. I think I spent probably like three hours building kind of platform space and height space in that casino. Then when I was trying to put in the machinery, I had a really confined space to fit it in. Whereas if you're in a cave, you can just dig as far back into a wall as you want. Have all the, you know, the redstone and machinery hidden in the back and then have the machines to the front. So casino is going to go down there. Before I go and begin work on that, there is one thing I want to test that uh, someone left as a comment on one of my videos. I do read all the comments from the previous episodes of how to Minecraft, when I'm about and I'm at home. Honestly, when I'm out in LA, obviously it's gonna be pre-recorded episodes and I won't be able to look into that. We need to get some more iron at some point as well. We're, in fact, iron we, actually, iron, we actually have, wait. No, it's, I ran out of iron stuff to fix, but I could fix those. I'd lose the protection three. Those are actually pretty good leggings, come to think of it. Um, but if you look at slash repair, after last episode, I did get it up to level 52. I just want to repair something diamond just for the sake of repairing something diamond. You know, one of those ones. So let's see. I mean, that is, yeah. That is a prime example of something I'd want to repair, I guess. I mean, I don't want to have just protection to it and projectile protection to it. I'd want to get one of those up to level four. Um, so what I would do is go in here, grab some. Yo, we're running low on supplies. I might have to challenge them to a mining challenge sometime soon. But as you see, if I uh, repair this up, it's going to get me, hopefully, a lot of... Yeah, look at this. The levels. You, I just got... Yo! Mad levels for repairing diamond stuff. That is huge. I mean, I lost the two enchants, but now it's a non-enchanted enchanted thing. Things that did cost a lot of diamonds. So it's, it's one of them ones. It's one of those where you're like, it's good. But at the same time... Was it worth the money I put in? I don't know, time over value over... I don't know. A lot of people were, you know, suggesting things like... Uh, um, what were they? There were some, some interesting suggestions. People suggesting using a stone tool um, and just using it once and then kind of repairing it. But the amount you repair an item by, the amount of durability you repair, is times by the material used to repair it to give the XP. So the higher level of stuff. So iron is really the one I want to go for. So I might may try the iron shovel sand excavation grinding at some point. But for now, let's get on with some building. So I'm going to need glass. I'm going to need prismarine bricks. And I'm going to need more of those. Can I just make... Do you make them out of... You don't make them out of the crystals. You make them out of shards, don't you? Um, I'd like to kind of give it kind of a water temple feel to it. I might need to go and hunt down some more prismarine bricks, actually. I, you know, I did get a load of them, but I used them all up in my house, thinking that would be a good idea. We have more glass. I think I may need to buy out even more of that slash balance. How much do we have on us? We have 8k, so that's going quite well. Do we have it? We have a respiration 3 helmet, which is awesome. We have depth strider, 3 boots. We see a choco dropping online. Just keep eyes out. Um, so, we need... I could do some more prismarine bricks. 
Do I even remember where water... Did I even write down where water temples were on here? Water temples. I don't even have any written down. Um, I'm not sure. Can I buy them at a spawn? There we go. Choco dropping the nice message in. What a guy. Um, warp shop. Can we buy it here? If we can buy it here, honestly. I don't think it's actually that expensive. It's 32 for 500 balance. You know, honestly, just to save me the time of going to a water temple, I'm going to buy a K of that. Uh, 1K of that. And I'm also going to need sea lanterns. They're expensive. 300 a piece. I feel like I'm going to need five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. Balance. Set us back about 2K, but we have the materials we're going to need. I get some more glass as well. So uh, you can see what I'm going with here. And again, I've got the stream chat open on my right hand side of my screen. So if you guys have any suggestions for how things should be done, let me know. But this is what I have in mind. So I've got all of the kind of gear that's going to make this actually hopefully very easy to go and build. Respiration and depth strider. Key for underwater building. So this is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to kind of draw it out with my hands. So it's going to be in embedded into the sea floor. It's going to be a kind of square of prismarine bricks. Then just a pyramid with, with a sea lantern in each corner. Then a pyramid of glass reaching up to a sea lantern in the top middle. What do we think to that? Does that sound good? Any suggestions before I start building this? I guess I may as well grab some more. I don't know. I feel like I could incorporate some spruce planks somehow. I haven't really decided how yet. But I'll grab some just for this, the, um, the thought of that. But yeah, and I'm watching live right now. Let me know what you think to that kind of a... Uh, that kind of a layout. I'm going to go and start scoping out the area right now. And uh, a lot of people were saying stain the glass. Would staining it blue be a good idea? Stain it blue? Or orange? Well, blue, realistically, it has to be a colour that I can get a lot of. I mean, I could stain it blue. I don't know how, I don't know the difference between... Let's go and do some testing, you know? I like that suggestion. I like it when you guys give me suggestions, so... Let's stain some of this blue and compare how it looks underwater. So let's get some blue glass. And you hear that creeper drop from the surface. A lot of people saying make a dome. I thought about making a dome or kind of like a pyramid going like this way against the granite of the blocks. But the thing is, the, with the connected textures, you won't be able to see it very much through. You won't be able to see through the glass. Let me demonstrate. So it's much easier to see through that glass because you, that, you lose that border. If I was to make kind of a dome, you'd have something like this. And uh, you still, you get those borderlines like that and that. So I think it's going to be much better to have kind of, instead of this kind of a structure, instead of going for something like this that you kind of lose a lot of visibility through, I think I'm going to go for something like this. Again, I'm using up a fair bit of glass. You get, I'd say, a lot more kind of diagonal visibility looking through that than that. That you have the vertical lines. And actually, you don't, you don't really have them so much in here. So yeah, that's, that's my, uh, that's my decision making on this. Damn it, is there any way to break this faster? So yeah, we're gonna go square. Um, get connected textures. Yeah, video settings, VBOSS on. Is it in connected textures? They're on, they're on fancy. Um. I don't know why they're not connecting properly. You can get some really, really cool ones. But I, I, I've always been a fan of default. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go down and see how this looks under and over water. So if I was going for something like that, you get it looking like that. You're, it's practically invisible, which I don't think I like. Let's see how this looks. Honestly, I think I actually prefer regular glass to stained glass. I think I prefer that because the, the stained glass is literally invisible. I think I'm just going to go with, I think the white glass will stand out well. I think the white glass will stand out well. What do we think? We agreed, stream? We agreed. Um, for those who've just joined the stream wondering what we're doing, we're going to be building the basis of our underwater casino right now. So I guess, realistically, oh, there's something key that we're going to need. I think they're in my valuables chest. We're going to need some of these back. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's get these cooking. We're going to need some of these used up. I'll bring some stone down with me. Can't go wrong. Uh, okay. Stain it white with bone meal. Ooh, I like that. I like that suggestion. That came from... Oh, the stream chat literally goes too fast. I'm sorry whoever that was, but you're a hero. I hope. Let's see if white stained glass looks even better. Always down to mix things up. Let's get an acro level while we're here. Ooh, we don't want to pick up the junk. Look at that. Easy acro level. 
and we just dodge the damage. That could be a huge way to grind up levels. Let's see how this looks in comparison. Let's see, one, two, and one, two. Um, I still actually, no, no, you, you lose visibility. Honestly, I think clear glass is the one. Um, but I appreciate the suggestions of other stuff. Um, I, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to getting this done. I believe, uh, yeah, Pete is also building a casino. But, um, I want to get my Wheel of Fortune built in somewhere. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I clear out this here. And we have it kind of central where I am right now. What do we think to that? I think it could work. Okay, so let's, let's get down to the depths. And respiration is going to make this a whole lot easier. Look at this. I'm underwater. But it's just nice and easy. Nice and easy to do. I'll grab the clay because it's here. But this whole thing, actually. There we go. Giga drill going in big. Right there. And I can see where the glitch blocks are right now. Let's, uh, let's re-log to get rid of those. There we go. And boom. There we go. Let's get rid of all these. I've got more dirt than I ever wanted in life. Okay. We're getting there. I may need to... I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that clay down there. But yeah, we'll do some underwater landscaping right here. Curve this off. You know, I'm just going to put a little breathing station down here. I can just come here, get some fresh air whenever I need it. Fresh air? I'm not sure how fresh underwater air really is, but you know what? It's whatever. So I'm thinking, what size should we go for? Maybe like 13 by 13? For some reason, I like the idea of that. I'm just going to clear this off even more again. Getting nice excavation level. Getting close to the excavation level 100. What level is it for diamonds? Does anyone even know? Uh, I'm, I'm sure someone in the stream chat knows, so I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, let's grab some air. Okay, so I'm thinking we kind of centralize in this point here. So let's... Uh, I mean, it's hard to get this sorted. I'm just trying to think in my head. We're going to have inset prismarine bricks. So actually, they're going to be below the glass. I'll place in the glass first, drain it, then get the prismarine in. It's difficult because I've got what I want to be my center point, really, but measuring it all out. I guess I can do more landscaping down the line. So let's just run out here. That It's not actually... No, that was a mistake. We're going to start with the glass layer and then underneath this. So I'm just going to pick corner point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Do a bit of that. And then again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And it should line up going this way. Okay, this is looking this is looking good. This is looking good right now. So underneath that whole layer, there is going to be a uh, layer of um, a layer of something or other. I've forgotten what it's called. Prismarine bricks that just kind of creates a border. So this pyramid is just going to expand up. And uh, we can always make minor tweaks to it down the line. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm liking the actual feel of getting something built. Something a little, a little more substantial. So building something. Oops, no. Nope. Building something that's not just, you know, part of the house, if that makes sense. Um, because my house is a cave. And yeah, a lot of people have been saying, like, caves really, really unimaginative, uncreative. So this is me trying to change the frame. And once this is lit up, it should look a lot cooler as well. And once it's all sealed, so. And once it's got a bit of space underneath it. So let's, uh, let's get this. Yeah, this is consuming glass at a rate. A rate man never thought he would see. Okay, let's get this whole thing sealed. Perhaps a flat roof, because this is going to get close to the surface. Maybe one more layer and then I'll flatten it off, I think. I think that's what we'll go for. But uh, this is a little tedious, but I think it's going to look good in the end. I don't want it to come too close to the surface. You lose the kind of underwater feel. Actually, I think the next lev level, I'll just square it off. Square it off above. Yeah, we'll go one more level from here. Yeah, I think that would be about good. Okay, so let's slash warp shop. 
let's uh, let's buy some more glass from here. Super cheap. Slash home. I may as well slash home. Uh, may as well grab the sponges. The sponges. The spongy bubbles. Alright, let's throw those in those. Let's throw this in here. And that in there. Okay, what was I going to do? Yeah, grab the sponges. I'm just going to store the clay in random. Grab the sponges. We're going to need those. Got the prismarine bricks. Got the sea lanterns. Okay. Let's get ready to go. And... Damn it, I grabbed some of the junk. Hold on, did I? I, I don't even know. Did I even pick anything up then? I don't know. My, my brain went a bit dirt then. But yeah, easy. I, with dodge, I can get easy acro levels, actually. So that's a little secret that I want you guys to keep. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, that's looking good from the outset. And wait till we get the lighting in. I think that's when it's going to come alive. I mean, we could even add kind of... You know what we could do? We could do something a little bit funky here. We could add a bit of structure here. I'm thinking to here. This is going to be expensive to do. I like the idea of this, though, for some reason. And then, just, just so, and then I could even diagonally extend this down the sides if we wanted to. I like the idea of that. I don't know. It, it's, it, it's all flexible, so it can all be changed. I may even, does it even need those structure response? Maybe I will go diagonally with those. I'm not sure. We can we can decide whenever the time is right. I'll leave them like this for now. Obviously, this is this is going to be qu probably quite wet, raised. We're going to go down into the floor quite away with this uh, construction right here. Um, a lot of people saying silk touch, but uh, it's it's like glass is so cheap. I'm not even not even bothered about that. So then we're just going to have this flat and placed in. I feel like it should extend one above that actually. Okay, and now we just fill the rest of this space in. Then we'll have the sponges ready to go. And you always start from the top and work down with sponges. You know, that much. And then we'll be set in place. So this is sealed now. I was I was originally planning to... Uh, before Vic drowns. Um, I was originally planning to fill, kind of create the whole inside out of gravel. And then just mine it out afterwards. But sponges makes life much easier, so I'm glad I have these. Let's go for, like, one there. One there. Damn it, you have to do them, like, at the same time, don't you? Otherwise, the water sources are going to reform themselves. I might just go crazy with these. Honestly, it's not the most efficient way to get this done, but it works. You just, you just grab those water sources before they even have a chance to spread. And would you look at that? <laughs> I could have done that much more efficiently, I'm going to be honest. What's the quickest way to grab sponges back? Does anyone know what the quickest thing to pick them up with? I feel like it might be shears. But that is, this is, this is going, this is going nicely. And it's still got a long way to go. It's a shame this isn't like a stone seabed. Um, if it was, obviously, that would be really cool. This would kind of integrate nicely. But we'll get a nice divide. Is there a quicker way to get rid of sponges? I feel like there is. Axe, no. Sword, no. Hand. Apparently hand is the fastest way. Wait, is it just... Oh, wait. I think just plain hand is faster. There we go. The more you know. Axe. A lot of people are saying axe. It all kind of feels like the same, to be fair. Shears. Yeah, shears would make sense. Everyone's saying axe. Okay, I'll do it with an axe. I don't feel like this is any faster. <laughs> I feel like half the people know, half the people troll. So, oh, I'm missing a key, key thing, actually. Is it, is, it can actually be one sea lantern, can't it? Ooh, you know what, actually, I could actually change up the plan here. Change up the plan a little bit. Let's grab all these back. I was going to have a sea lantern in the mid piece, which I could do, to be fair. The mid piece is right there. Well, I've asked to put them in the four corners, though. So that would require sea lantern. I'm going to need way more sea lanterns for this, is the only thing. Do they look any good? I think I think it would make more sense fitting them in there. They have more of a structure to them. There we go. Actually, this isn't going to look much different because I have night vision. But to someone who doesn't have night vision, this is going to look way better this way. Um, to demonstrate, this is going to... Here we go. Check this out. 
Okay, wait. We, well, we need we need a fair bit more light, actually. You know, I am going to put one up in the top middle as well. <laughs> I just missed. Wait, do the, these... Damn it! Damn it! We just broke our sea lantern. That cost us 300. Kind of. In an indirect way. Okay. Note to self, do not misplace sea lanterns. They are very expensive. This is starting to look good. This, I think it's actually nighttime right now as well. This will look pretty different during daytime. Check that out. And once I light up these bottom corners, this should all become more see throughable. See throughable slash warp shop. What were we gonna do? We were gonna get some more sea lanterns. Splash out, splash the cash. Error inventory full. Yeah, you're not wrong there. I've got jungle wood. Just splash out on some of those. Slash back, really. There we go. We're on we're on some money crush right now. Okay, so that's good. We need Is there one in every corner now? I feel like I missed a corner. This one, yeah. Okay, let's grab these back. But yeah, let me know what, oh, use Silk Touch for Sea Lanterns if I misplace them again. Yeah, that's, that's, that is where Silk Touch would definitely be worthwhile to use. So there we go, I think we've got the four corners lit up. There we go. Next up, we're gonna take the ground level down by one. I need to get this to efficient, this is efficiency one. Whoa, I have levels on me right now, I should get this upgraded. Damn it, I shouldn't have used Giga Drill until I had uh, efficiency, whatever I was going for. This is definitely something I should upgrade because it's going to save me a lot of time in this. So slash home. We're kind of done with some of the glass for now. So let's uh, store it some away. Bone meal, what are you doing? Going farming. Store a bit of this away. Get these cooked up again. Where were we? Um... I can make some sea lanterns when I get chance. I just need more prismarine shards and I can make them with the prismarine crystals in a diagonal fashion. What was I, what did I even come here to do? Yeah, better diamond shovel. That is correct. Man, the supplies are running low in this camp. Supplies are running low, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's just grab the lapis. And just efficiency four really is what I want. Efficiency four, perfection. Straight up efficiency four. Not a trouble, because we can just combine it with our current one and make mad plays. So, drop that and that. 23 levels for the... That is the perfect shovel though, isn't it? 23... Oh, 7 levels that way around. I guess... <laughs> I ain't complaining. Yeah, we can do that easy. 433. Three. One thing I did notice a lot of people saying in the comment sections is that rather than using slash fix, I should uh, repair stuff with diamonds, because diamonds, obviously, 4 diamonds is less than slash fix. Oh! Yeah, that's starting to look good. Once I get the bottom four corner lights in, that thing will stand out. Anyway, let's, uh... Oh, we did take damage that time, but not a huge amount. Right, let's uh, throw these back on. And when it's lit up, obviously, it looks all good. Starting to kind of question that section now. I feel like it should be central. Hmm. From the inside, it looks good. From the outside, I'm not so sure. I may honestly actually just replace it with glass. What do we think? Stream chat, what are you saying? Should I just replace those beams? Leave the pillars. Leave the pillars with the light. But just change the actual layout to glass. Maybe that, or maybe that glass layer should be one down. Maybe it should be flat in the top. I'm not sure. What do, we pe what do people think? I'll keep an eye on the chat to see what's the most popular. I'm going to do one of the two. I'm either going to replace those beams, but not the sea lanterns with glass. Or I'm going to drop that glass roof down. So roof down or pillars gone. That's, those are the decisions, stream. Those are the decisions. Right, anyway, let's pop back inside. Oh, jeez. this! Pi oh, my gosh. This shovel goes ham. Um, let's see. A lot of people saying leave it. I mean, if that's a popular opinion, I'm happy to go with that. Um. Um. <laughs> This is tough for me because I've got so many different people saying different things here. I'm going to relog as well. Um, um, yeah, the majority I'm seeing is roof down, which is what I'm leaning towards right now. So I think that's what we're going to go for. This is epic, by the way. This shovel is epic. I'm going to drop the roof down. And... Uh, that's not to say that I won't change my mind again in the future or mix it up even more. So. Um, 
Let's go. This is like precision digging here. Got to be smooth with it. I also need to create like an entry system. I'm thinking perhaps just a kind of straight drop off somewhere nearby. And uh, then like a walkway down and in. So here we go. Taking this down a level so we can do the next stage here. Which is... Uh, oh, wait, I just got a text from my uh, roommates ordering Chinese, apparently. So I'm going to ask for sweet and sour chicken with egg fried rice and prawn toast, please. <laughs> Love heart. There we go. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's 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 me ordering food in a live stream, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's place in these. This lighting's gonna make it look way back from the outside world, and then let's place in. Ooh, I think we need to buy more prismium bricks. You actually use quite a lot in that. Uh, the most popular response was uh, yeah was definitely water, uh, roof down. So I think we're gonna do that. I don't know. I really no. The thing is, I really like the pyramid shape. Oh, this is a struggle of my life. This is a struggle of my life. Because that should be at the midpoint, really, which would be... How many layers do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would be on the fourth one, so one, two, three, four. It would be there. And it would sit in the midpoint. It would make sense. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. This is... like I don't claim to be very great at building. So can I sell the dirt? Sell hand? Honestly, yeah. I just have way too much dirt as it is. Slash warp shop. That will, like, get me almost a slash back command. Buy some more of this. Oh my gosh, I'm bankrupted. Oh my gosh, I'm out of money. <laughs> Slash back. Oh, I'm poor. I'm officially poor. A beacon in the middle at some point would be huge as well. That would be a huge play. That's something we need to do at some point. Yeah, the whole... So yeah, someone came up with an awesome method to get Wither Skulls. Use Stormbringer to get charged creepers in the overworld. Trap them near my nether portal, near the stronghold. Then uh, lure out, um, lure out the what you call it, what you call it, lure out the uh, wither skeleton into the overworld, and go ham. So this isn't actually going to be the floor level. So this is kind of hard to picture right now, but this is actually going to be a roof level right here. Um, this is we're going to go down to build the casino because it obviously needs to be built into walls. So. Um, yeah. It's probably not the easiest thing to get the head around. Look at this. Yo, excavation levels. Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, this is good. This is good. This makes my casino funkier and clears out a ton of the space. Okay, so the casino is going to be hovering halfway through a ravine with glass walls to the ravine either side. Glass walls to the sea above. Yes, 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 yes. I rate this highly. I rate it highly indeed. And meanwhile, we're just tearing up the excavation levels. Look at this. Look at this go. Yo, I just want to go on an excavation grind right now. Just get myself up to, like, just diamonds out of the ground. Could be a big money maker. This shot I did not realize shovels became this powerful. Um, look at me go. I'm a maniac. I am a crazy, crazy guy. Look at this. We're just... Just desolating. Um, okay, so that's good. One second. I think I dropped some frames there, so apologies to that stream and YouTube viewers. Uh, my CPU got a bit, got a bit overtaken. Um, probably by all the stuff I'm doing right now, all the things that we're doing in the game. It's all good though. It's all good. Okay, this is. I'm liking this. I'm liking where this is going. I'm liking the way this is going. Okay. Um, we need to make a decision about this roof. I think, honestly, I'm going to try pulling the roof down. 
Yes. I'm gonna try putting the roof down, so slash home. Let's grab some, grab some glass back. Let's sell this out. Slash sell hand. Makes an okay bit of money. Let's sell an emerald just so I have the command. Sell an emerald and let's go and see. Um, also, let's get my silk touch pickaxe to get that sea lantern back so I don't waste all my money again. Okay. Slash back. So the way we're going to do this is quite simply to build up. Replace from below, break from above. So here, let's go with the silk touch. We can get everything back actually on the top, so that's all good. Okay. We start from here. And we just patch in this like so. And we hope that it looks good. That is the hope. This isn't kind of the final decision, guys. Do not worry. The final decision will come at a later date. But I'm liking, I'm liking the way this is shaping up for the most part. And that ravine was a cool find. It's very cool. Okay. Is that all good? I think it is. Let's throw a new sea lantern in. Then let's slash jump up there. Okay, we're up here. Now let's get the silk touch out. And I guess we may as well grab this back. And then we're all good. A lot of people saying fix the pickaxe. I don't fix anything until it's very close to breaking. So I can get my money's worth, as it were. Let's grab all of this back. I think this looks better, honestly. I think this looks better already. I feel like it does. I feel like it definitely does. I just think that extra rise, from the inside it looked good. From the, from the outside it did not. So we'll see how this looks in a momento. And... Also, for those of you that follow my main channel, check this out. Ooh, I, yeah, top secret. Shh. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that looks better. That honestly looks better. I'm tempted to say down the line, I'm even going to kind of expand this out and around a little bit somehow. Just so it has a bit more of a footprint from the outside world. And look, look at that. That looks mysterious and legit. If we had a beacon coming out the middle, I think that would also look really cool. So that's good. That's all good. The basis of the casino is beginning. Now I need to get my way back in. Just hop in here. Depth Strider makes life easy. Let's seal that up there. Let's take this down. Yeah, and this looks, it looks good from the inside as well. We're probably gonna have it maybe continue expanding out in a pyramid fashion on the inside as well. Man, I honestly just wanna go to a desert right now and just start mining. Just start mining sand. Just get my excavation up, try and get some diamonds from that. That's still something we need to do at some point. Uh, the super breaker is refreshed. Perfecto. So let's, uh, let's re-log so the blocks that didn't actually break appear to me. Where are they? There you go. It's that one and that one. Right, let's go huge with the super breaker. My last one I didn't use that well in all honesty. Okay. So let's start here. Above this ravine. And let's get ready to go. Wrong pickaxe, damn it. Damn it, I used the wrong pickaxe. Ugh. Oh, that was not as effective as this would have been. But I got some stone out of it, so I guess that's good. Um, which is all good. Get some free coal while we're down here. Cannot complain about that. Seemed like that other pickaxe, the other shovel went slower as well, so it kind of cleared out more safe zone. One thing we actually need to do is I forget that I have night vision. This area needs to be lit up. Otherwise, we're going to have all sorts of mobs down here the next time we come down. Let's just take these off while we do this. This one egg just needs to go. Ooh, that looks legit interesting down there. Um, let's just seal this all around. We could even have a stretch of the casino. The casino could be built into the ravine. Ah, oh, I'm liking the way this is... I'm liking the way this is working out. Very much am. There's a long way to go, obviously, as you can see. However, does Flint sell any good? Let's see. Flint, please. Flint, I'd like your Flint. I'd like to be a Flintstone. Let's see. Slash sell hand. Item can't be sold. Damn it. Maybe arrows. Arrows are a dollar each, so 
The flint could be made to... Nah, it'd be better off selling the flint and the feather separately. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, this is... This is looking... Looking good. It's, it's a very, very early stage in the project. But with a bit of luck, this could definitely become something. It's just working out in my head how everything is gonna everything's gonna play out down the line. So that is gonna be it for this episode of How to Minecraft. Glass floor so you can see lava underneath. Yes, I would love that. I would love that, yeah. Yeah, I think the whole bit above the ravine as well will be a glass floor, I think. Oh, so many cool options. So many cool options. It's, you know, I almost feel like I'm not worthy. I may have to bring in some assistance from other How to Minecrafters to get this build done. But yeah, this is going to be it for today's episode and live stream. Check back tomorrow for another episode and live stream. Then the live streams will be suspended for about a week or so while I'm out in LA and then I'm going home for the weekend. Um, but it's been a good one. Hopefully you all enjoyed. We made some nice progress as well. I will see you all next time. Thanks and goodbye.